I started writing right on the typewriter. Uh, and I did that for a number of years and gradually I found out that it was killing my back because you're sitting in one position the worst possible way. Um, and it, it's only in the last 10, 15 years maybe that I've learned to write in, um, in notepads, uh, spiral notepads. I like to write uh, in, on uh, narrow ruled paper. You cannot find them in hardly any university where I usually go to. If I'm staying in, the, staying in the big town, I'll go to a university, hopefully they have it, but it's all college ruled. And the reason I like it thin ruled, narrow ruled, is because it's like writing sheet music. You get to see as much as you can in one glance of the eye, so you could see if there's too many long speeches. I mean, you'd see it if you turned the page, if it was on wider, wider paper, but you don't get a sense of the rhythm of it, the music of it. And it's funny that I read a, a book of short pieces by David Mamet, and one of the pieces was how he loves these narrow ruled books. And he went to London, where I go, basically to get it. Whenever I'm in London, I'll buy a dozen of them. And uh, he bought the book home, and he loved it so much and was so intimidated by it, he wouldn't use it. And he just leaves it there saying, I love this book, and I'm not going to touch it. Um, but I do write uh, longhand. I've not, I'm not a computer person. I'm never going to be because I can type rather quickly, and I don't mind making the mistakes that I have to correct, which I usually white out or something, and they, they look pretty, um, uh, I don't know, antique, I guess, by the time they get to, to the producer. But um, I don't mind going back over the mistakes because after I change that mistake, I've stopped to look at the sentence and said, oh wait, I can make this sentence better, whereas I think Computer, computer uses, you know, uh, contradict this, but say um, you, you would do it anyway on a computer. But I'd, I don't think I would because I'm looking at it much more carefully and I'm sending, saying, if I'm going to spend the time to retype this entire page, I want to make sure that every word is right because I don't want to retype it again. I don't mean sp spelled right, but getting the, the right amount of uh, syllables, words, Sometimes you write a sentence and you say, I've said everything I want in this sentence, but it needs another word. And it has to do with the music of it. It has to do with um, the beats in it. It's not a conscious thought, but I read it and I say something is wrong here. Sometimes it has an extra word in it that I don't need. Um, people like uh, Jack Lemmon, uh, I've seen in print, and he's, he's said it on television a number of times, is that um, with Neil Simon's work, because of the rhythm that he works in, that you can't leave out a preposition or a if, and, a but, not because the word is important, but it's part of the music. And he says, I've tried taking it out and it doesn't work, so I put it back in.